On Saturday the 5th of June 1993, one jockey wrote herself into the record books of American racing history when Colonial Affair won the Belmont Stakes. That jockey was Julie Crone and she became the first female jockey to win a triple crown race. Born in Michigan, USA, Julie began riding ponies when she was just a toddler. When I was very young, like two or three, uh, I was already, they say I don't really remember very much of it, riding by myself. And I guess so, I can't even recall when my desire to want, like, to ride started because it was just always there, so it's just part of my life. When I started uh, watching racing on TV a lot, and I started, um, Steve Cawthon's year, so to speak, was an extreme uh, benefit towards ra from racing because of what he was and what he added to the sport, his wholesomeness and his um, true ability on a horse, you know, enough ability where he could be such a young man and win the Triple Crown races. And as a kid at home, um, I, ha I admired that a lot. And the best part of it was that he was a good rider and he loved horses. And so I made a vow like when I was about 13 or 14 that I wanted to be like Steve Cawthon. Julie's first job in racing was as a hot walker at Churchill Downs and she turned professional a year later. Being a woman working in a profession largely dominated by men, was it difficult to get started? I think it's difficult in racing to get started for everyone. You don't have to genderize it. It's, they're always going to find reasons that they like you and they don't like you, whether it be your female or Martian or, you know, Hispanic. You know, they're always going to like and dislike something about you. And breaking into racing and becoming a rider and proving yourself is difficult. And you just have to show up every day and hope that you can get the brakes. And the main thing is you have to get the opportunities to ride the good horses. And showing up every day increases your chances, and you just have to try no matter who you are. Julie started riding in New Jersey and New York in 1987, and was given her first big break by Hall of Fame trainer Scotty Schulhofer. I was really nervous riding for him because um, when, you, when you're breaking into a situation in New York and you get an opportunity to ride for one of the top five trainers, so to speak, uh, I, I felt I was very anxious to do well. And it made me, I think maybe, uh, you almost try too hard, kind of like, because you just had, you almost even like pray in the post parade, oh God, please let this horse run good, because it means so much to me. And I was, I was, I felt really happy to get the chance. Well, Julie uh, came to New York, and she had been riding, and I liked what I saw her riding. She's very, she had good hands on a horse, and she would come out in the mornings and work horses and get on them and uh, so I gave her a chance and she proved that she was a real good rider. She's got a great rapport with horses and I, at first I was a little hesitant to use her on big strong horses because I figured she was too little and too light to handle them but as time went on I learned that she, she handles them but she, she does it without strength which I, that was my theory all my life while I was riding it. I could, no one can, you can't match your strength with a horse. And she, she has got great hands and good rapport, and she's a very bright girl. And she learns fast, and she's, she's just a great rider. Working with Scotty, he, he, he's very good at, like, at developing a horse. And the chances that I got early on to go, to go with a few of the younger horses, um, he, allow, he allowed me to stay on the horses, and that was a very big compliment to me. And the horses ended up winning and doing well. And then from then, things snowball. You get a chance with another horse and another horse, and then before you know it, um, you're enjoying you know, the development and almost all the races of all the horses in the barn. We have a great rapport. You know, she gets mad at me once in a while, and I get mad at her, but that's part of the business. She's just a great gal. This year, the Schulhofer Crone team achieved their greatest success so far when Colonial Affair took the Belmont Stakes. Winning the Belmont, um, it's almost kind of a little bit mixed because going in, everyone had a lot of confidence in the horse and the way he was coming about for the race. And so in, in my mind, I kind of knew the horse was going to win, and so did everyone else. But you can't think in your mind that everyone walking in that paddock that they didn't feel the same way about it. And it's... To, it's almost difficult to put in words a little bit um, because I think I'm very fortunate to have it happen so early in my career and, and you know, just, it's, it was a 
pretty special feeling. You just you almost can't put words on it. I think it, it's moved everything naturally forward to the next stages of everything and you know, just made everybody more comfortable with all the advancements like in your career. Like you're supposed to win this triple crown races or the Breeder Cup races as you go on. And it just kept me in the same track with all the people my age riding right now. At the age of 31, Julie Crone has ridden over 2,500 winners. She has won the Belmont, and at this year's Saratoga meeting became only the third jockey to win five races in one day. So what will be next from the jockey whose motto is, have saddle, will travel? To win, you know, the Triple Crown, to win the Breeders' Cup, to win a million grade ones. Um, jockeys are very lucky when you're when you're having, like when your career is full force because you don't have to limit your ambitions because anything great could happen and you have to always be ready for, enjoy the good and, you know, be ready for some unfortunate things at the same time. But right now they're unlimited. I, anything could happen.